Autodesk Feature Cam allows you to use multiple types of simulation when programming your parts. One of these is machine simulation, which can be used to see the actual machine that you are running using a machine design file and be able to detect any collisions you might run into and also to get the most efficient toolpath possible. Currently, excuse me, to get the most efficient process possible. In here, you see on this machine design file in machine simulation that I have active, there's an upper turret, a lower turret, a main spindle, and a sub spindle. There are tools assigned to the upper tool post, nothing assigned to the lower tool post. If we look at the part view, you will notice that we have some features in setup one being done on the main spindle, features being done on the sub spindle, and setup two. I've also included a cutoff process so created a new feature and made a cutoff and gave some transfer parameters in order to pull the part out and do the cutoff and send it send the part on its way over to the sub spindle to at this point we cancel the simulation let's talk about the results window and the tool post tab in the tool post tab this is where you do any synchronization work that you might want to do it is color coded blue and yellow or orange. Um, for blue is for the main and the other color is for the sub spindle. You also have symbols or icons to denote which spindle the work is being done on. You can see the cutoff operations here. Uh, feature cam automatically synchronizes to make that happen when you create a cutoff feature and turn on the transfer. You also have the ability to create other feature types if you need to move a tool post out of the way, index the turret to another spot to give clearance for any of these processes and this file includes those as well. We also have a time view. The time view is showing us the runtime on the part if we are synchronized um, and you can see the time currently. If I run through the simulation you can see the process here. Notice that these processes are not aligned in in the uh, two two spindles and so with all the tooling only being happening here we're being inefficient so what we want to do is show you how the synchronization actually works it's as simple as dragging and dropping in some cases I can drag and drop these operations over to this side of the process I can look at my time view I can see an updated time. I've saved some time here. You can see the overlap in the time view where these happen and you can see the result over here. This results in a more efficient process reducing your machine time and making making the best use of your multifunction machine. 